Spider-Man himself. You are, you're the original Spider-Man. Is that? Well, is that original gonna, voice, that's yes, all. Yeah. Other actors have performed him in voice and on screen. But uh, I, I was the first to do the voice a long time ago. Well, uh, I see you've got your Spider-Man jacket there. My son had this made for me, and I'm very grateful to him for it. You know, you're, you're sort of the embodiment of, of Spider-Man. Like, probably everyone has somehow taken something away from that. Is it, what's that, what's that like for you to, to be in that position? Well, it was I, hard to know because it, it, it's a matter of having had good luck that I was cast in this role. The fact that uh, people were able to connect with the character and the voice, very gratifying, but in a sense at the time we did it, it was another acting job. I had a regular day job on the CBC in a current affairs program called Take 30. So I had a day job. Didn't need the cartoons to live or for any artistic pleasure beyond doing acting work. Uh, nobody knew at the time of either Rudolph or Spidey that these two series were going to last more than a couple of years. Nobody thought that. And they did. They have for 50, 52 or three years. So there is nothing to compare it with. You ask, you know, I'm just trying to answer your question, what's it like? I don't know, it was, it was wonderful, but not expected. And of course, uh, the, the enjoyment was doing the work because we got no extra money over the years.